Hey, what is going on guys? Homo Strider here bringing you part 2 of how to create your own high quality FPS shooter game. Uh, again, I am using the FPS Creator Reloaded program in order to make this tutorial series for you guys. So if you don't already have it and it looks interesting, as always, there's a link to go buy it down in the description below. I highly recommend it. It's very, very good. So yeah, like I said, if you're interested, check it out and be sure to buy it. So, last episode I showed you guys how to A, place down some basic entities, how to rotate it, how to make some mountains, flat leveled ground, some pools, how to paint the ground, and also how to create your own little grass patches. So, I went ahead and extended the path and added a combat character. So you can see that that's him. You go back up and hit the entity mode. And in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to A, set player checkpoints, and B, how to edit an entity, or the edit the settings of an entity itself. So first off, let's start with the player checkpoint. So, instead of double-clicking player start, double-click player checkpoint. And now you will see this. Again, you can hit R to rotate which way you want your player to spawn once they hit that checkpoint. And go ahead and left-click it. Now you may be wondering, what is this little pentagon looking thing around it? Well, if on the corners, if you click and hold and then drag it out, this is basically just setting the zone of when a player walks anywhere into this area here, it sets the checkpoint for the player. So let's go ahead and set that to whatever you want the checkpoint area to be. And now, when we test the game, player starts here, he will walk down and go here and then say he dies he will uh, respawn here instead of back up here since he set a checkpoint second thing is how to edit the basic settings of an entity so I'm gonna go to barrels find a explosive one and I'll just set it there so you have the entity hover over it until it either turns the green or red and then right click on it and you will get zoomed down close and over here instead of the library there will be a whole list of different things you can edit you can edit the name you can edit how it reacts whenever you interact with it uh, you can add if anything happens to it if it uses a key you can add if it respawns after it's dead or after it's destroyed in this case if it has a delay number to spawn the angle the velocity you can also change the textures and the statistics. So strength is how much it can endure, how many times you can shoot it before it blows up. Um, let's see, and then it has physics. How does it react in a realistic way? And you add if it's explosive or not. So I'm just going to head and set this to yes. Okay. So now instead of not being explosive, it should be explosive. Static mode, you can change this to yes and that will make it so you, whenever you walk into it or something, it doesn't move and nothing happens to it. And then once you're done, make sure you hit apply changes. And then any changes that you made will be applied there. I'm going to go ahead and test the game by coming up here and hitting this little rocket thing. Click that. And a little screen like this will come up showing you all the stuff that it's loading. When it's done, I will be right back. Alright, so it finished loading up the level. And as you can see, there's the gun there that I placed. And there's the barrel. And behind us, again, you can press W to walk. And rotate your mouse to look around. So, you see your gun there. You just go ahead and walk up to it and it will automatically pick it up for you right click to aim, left click to shoot. Alright. So. Oh my. Look this one over here. Alright, so you heard that little beeping sound. That's me going through the checkpoint. So I'm just going to let this bad guy kill me and show you that whenever I respawn, I will respawn right here instead of over there. And as you can see in the lower right hand corner, it displays how much health out of 500 you have and how many lives you have. And again, 
you can edit this by right clicking on the player start zone building that entity so also as you saw whenever I die I respond right here instead of right here where I initially spawned because I did go into a checkpoint after you're done testing your level go ahead and hit escape alright guys that's it for today's part two of this tutorial if you enjoyed it I ask that you please leave a like comment subscribe it helps me out a lot and also be sure to check out the link down in the description and please buy this program and support the developer it's a very very awesome program and I I could not not recommend it it's just absolutely fantastic so again if you guys enjoyed drop a like and be sure to stay tuned for the next episode of how to create your own high quality fps shooter game